Hello, everyone. I'm Greg Gutfeld, along with Kimberly Guilfoyle, Bob Beckel, Eric Bowling, and she eats rainbows for breakfast. It's Dana Perino. It's 5 o'clock in New York City, but you get that. So yesterday, I nailed has-been Jim Carrey for his skit attacking rural Americans in Charlton Heston, a man who cannot respond because he's dead. In case you missed Jim's video, once again. Heston movies are no longer in demand. And his immortal soul may lay forever in the sand. The angels wouldn't take him up to heaven like he planned. Because they couldn't pry that gun from his cold, dead hand. With your cold, dead aim, you're trying to prove your <laughs> is bigger, but we know. Making fun of everything I hold dear, Walter. Wow. Edgy stuff. See, gun owners compensate for their lack of manhood. So I guess our Navy SEALs are all neutered. As for his parody of Hee Haw, it's already a parody. But I don't expect depth from a roiling bucket of sewage. Now, gun rights were never a core issue for me, but Kerry and tools like him made it one. This is Hollywood with its slip showing. Kerry's video shows what they really think of flyover America. They hate you. To them, you're all white rednecks. Worse, he mocks a dead and decent man. Dude, I get you're a clown, but at least hit someone who can hit back, you simpering tool. In Hollywood, where the hell are you? If you worked with Heston or respected his work in civil rights, mm -hmm. say something. How can you let this odious twerp defile Heston's memory? You should regurgitate Carrie like a cat upchucking a feces encrusted fur ball. Yeah. And yes, Carrie has not made a good film in years, which is why he's a marionette trying to please his liberal puppeteers. He's desperate. But forget your thoughts on guns. His cruelty reveals how cloistered Hollywood is. That Carrie thought his crap would be greeted with anything but a flush. And so beneath Jim's phony New Age persona, he's as hateful as the KKK, and his esteem is so low he cannot go a moment without feeding it, which is why when he's called out, he hides, and he hides behind a gun. He has armed security, which by his own logic means he has tiny genitals. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah, yes, I, I did. Hey, before we have discussion, I just want to compare, do a simple head-to-head -head head with the legendary Charlton Heston, uh, who was a leader in civil rights and, a, and an actor, and I want to compare him to Jim Carrey when they were about the same age. Here's a clip of Heston. Until very recently, like most Americans, I expressed my support of civil rights largely by talking about it at cocktail parties, I'm afraid. But again, like most many Americans this summer, uh, I could no longer pay only lip service to a cause that was so urgently right and in a time that is so urgently now. So I tried to find a, a clip of Jim Carrey of equal stature. <laughs> Thank you for all your cooperation. <laughs> that was cheap. I admit that was cheap. But, but I needed some kind of context. Funny. Why doesn't anyone talk like Charlton Heston anymore? He had a great I love voice. love that. He had a great voice. And when so he was handy. in Planet of the Apes, when he said, get your dirty damn paws off me, you <laughs> dirty damn ape. That's what I said to you. Who didn't That's love that? That's what you said to me that time. <laughs> okay. And I was, I was dressed as a gorilla. KG. Yeah. Um, what, you know, the whole point is, he's a, he, his whole thing is he's a comedian. Right. And comedians do things that are supposed to be funny even when that's not funny. But we have a right to point out that he's kind of a tool for going after somebody who's dead and a great guy, a great American and a great patriot like Charlton Heston. I get backfires on Jim Carrey because it makes him look sort of sad and pathetic and trivial. And is that the best, like, work he can do these days? I mean, that, like, bizarre little parody cowboy dance that he was doing? Okay. I think it speaks for itself. And this is a man who's a total hypocrite because he's benefiting from the Second Amendment, which he criticizes. And I guess he thinks he should decide who's able to bear arms and who's able to have a weapon in their mind. He's able to. Yeah. He's able to have armed security and, you know, live in a nice, secure place. But what other people aren't able to exercise their Second Amendment right? Mm -hmm. Come on. Bob, uh, do, you, do you think uh, there's a lot of great people in Hollywood who probably knew Charlton Heston? Shouldn't some of them say something about this or let it slide? They should. And let's keep in mind, Charlton Heston went into the field of civil rights, not yeah. talking about it. In 1963, that was the beginning of the Freedom Rides. That was a dangerous, dangerous thing to do. 
And it, I've got to give an enormous amount of credit. My dad was in the civil rights movement during that time. It was brutal. People were getting beat up, and particularly if you were white going to the South, and he had the courage to do that. I think, you know, something like that, I don't agree with him on his guns and the stuff, but on that, it, it, civil rights is near and dear to my heart. And I'll tell you, it, he, he was one of the few people in Hollywood who just didn't talk it. He went out and lived it. Well, that's, that's a, a, a good point, Eric. In terms of this, like, of the gun issue, mm -hmm. like, there, you could be on either side and respect either side. This is like a disrespectful way of dealing with an issue, I guess. Let, let's... Let's be real. Jim Carrey is a talent. I mean, he's a funny guy. He's in living color. He was cutting edge. Came up with some really great stuff. Um, is it panic? Now, maybe it's panic. I mean, the guy was making 20 to $25 million a film, and then it's kind of went away. So he, you know, there, there are social activists like George Clooney, like Sean Penn, like Bono. There are environmental act activists like uh, uh, Angelina Jolie and, and, uh, and Brad Pitt. And then there are career activists who feel their career starting to slide and they jump onto anything, whether it's a tree. He happened to jump yeah. on a gun in the middle of the gun discussion. I think he picked the wrong prop for this film, though. Yeah, I That's think you're right. Point. I think you're right. Dana, the one thing that I love about him is uh, he, on Twitter, he's on Twitter now, he retweets compliments. So after he put uh, out this, it, it's kind of like a comedian who applauds when people are applauding his own joke. It, it's not the paragon of insecurity. Well, remember Breitbart, what he did was he would retweet the uh, nasty grams that he got from people. Yeah. That's how that actually started. He doesn't, e Jim Carrey doesn't even know what he's doing on Twitter. You don't pat yourself on the back. That yeah. is embarrassing. Um, I was thinking about something. Why, do, why wouldn't he go after like Clint Eastwood? Yeah. Is it because he's afraid that Clint Eastwood would track him down and kill him? Because he's alive? Yes. Yeah, That's exactly. A, yeah. Like, why couldn't he? It's not as if there aren't people that you could have picked out to make fun of. Yeah. But he chose somebody who was dead. Well, there are, two, there, are two, there are two targets that he picked, two targets that he doesn't come into contact with. A, dead people, mm -hmm. and B, the rest of America. He has dual citizenship in Canada, but that's really Canada and Los Angeles. <laughs> also, yeah. also, you know, he was looking for something that was going to create a lot of fire, yeah. a lot of controversy. He, he was trying to get on, you know, in social media, trying to get on shows like The Five. But he picked the one topic that even the Democrats are afraid to touch because they know mm -hmm. most of America agrees with the Second Amendment, all right, to, to keep and bear arms. Mm -hmm. He picked, he messed with the wrong Wouldn't it be yeah. cool, though, if he, he engaged the them? pipeline? Something, yeah. right, sure. <laughs> Environmentally, <laughs> something. Yeah, yeah but it, he would have been nice if he engaged people on it, but he doesn't. What he does is he goes on Twitter, uh, craps all over America, and then he hides. I wouldn't mind if he went out and said, like, okay, let's talk about it. Sorry, Bob. Well, I was going to say, go back to the civil rights movement. Let's remember, in 63, Heston had campaigned for both Adelaide Stevenson and Jack Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy were both hiding on the civil rights issues because uh, they just were afraid for the reelection. Heston went out at a time as a Kennedy supporter and actively went out and actively went in the South. And I can tell you, uh, it, 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 you're taking life into your hands when you do that. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly my father did. And, I, and I, I, didn't, I don't remember many. There were few. There were a few Hollywood people who went down there, but not many. Mostly they were ministers uh, and, and rabbis and people, but uh, very few celebrities. So he stood on principle and he acted on it. Yeah, what sure. is the principle? Manicare. That's what I didn't understand about this whole Jim Carrey thing. What is the principle that he is trying to accomplish? He, if... If he was trying to ridicule people, okay, you achieve that. But what is the greater end? Like, what does he want in the gun? In, what does he want from the gun debate? Yeah, it is doesn't. No gun? It doesn't help the actual issue. If you no. actually engaged people, articulated your perspective. Who wants attention? Yeah, he, it was purely. Well, I think it really right. is, Kimberly. I mean, what have you heard from him recently? I mean, this is like the best thing that he's done. Sad. I mean, that's yeah. what I the think. Le it is. The last thing you heard that he did was Jenny McCarthy. Easy. I wanna, you said it. I, I wanna, <laughs> uh, no, but I want to ask you something. Do you think Hollywood is scared to actually say something about this because they feel that Funny or Die would come after them, or yeah. so they'd rather just let this thing slide? Sure, they're going to let it slide. You know, they're not going to stick up for one of their own because he doesn't share their same ideology. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's on the outs. He doesn't get to sit at the cool table with the Hollywood elite. Jim Carrey gets to sit there, so even though this was not very funny or very interesting, and especially not very nice, they're not going to call him out on you it. You know, the, the other thing is, for those of us who are for gun control, and particularly the clips, he did more to hurt the cause by doing this than, uh, if he kept his mouth shut, he'd yeah. been a lot better off all the way around. This is going to get, get people riled up, and, and, 
And I just wish people like this, if you're going to do it, know what you're talking about and understand the legislative process. They're going to be a tough one to sneak that, that clip in. We'll get it, I think. Well, the, it, yeah, um, on the day that he released his video was the same day that um, Mayor Michael Bloomberg of New York announced a $12 million ad buy yeah. um, to try to push his position on gun control. And that, that on a day when that arguably would have gotten a lot more attention, the Jim Carrey news totally swamped it and ridiculed their effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to do this. Every time you say clip, I'm supposed to remind you that you put a hair <laughs> clip. A clip is for hair. A magazine is for actual putting bullets into a gun. Just oh. like, just like, every, time I, every time one of us says it, I get t 50 Twitter people saying, tell Bob a clip tell is Bob. for hair. I, well, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't Bob. use clips in my hair, so I don't know. I always thought that's what they called them. So and Jim Carrey, should, Jim Carrey should stick to magazines like Details mm. rather than magazines that go into guns, Kimberly. Oh, yeah. But you like have that? to admit, Greg, he was cutting edge when he... When he, when he, was, he I thought they... The whole Miley Miley Color stuff and his early, her early films yeah. were fantastic. No? Yeah, but it's kind of like, Lyra what have you good. done for me lately? That's what I have to say to him. It was the bat drama that it, Guana, that he was after that got me. I mean, it was the... Remember that? He was going what? out to bat. Yeah, he was going out to bat. Oh, crap. the Joker? What are you... No, no, no. When he was pet detective. Well, I... I know, know, um, that his, for people who care, his Twitter handle is at Jim Carrey. I think we might even have it up there. You should ask him uh, why doesn't he debate it or talk to people uh, rather than just posting something and hiding. Or leave people in uh, you know, leave Southern people Carrey, in cemeteries you alone. You don't have the guts to come debate Greg Gutfeld. Why don't you come on here and debate him? That's a good point. He should come on the five and talk about this. We'd be really, really nice. I actually want to know what he thinks. I don't care about his shtick. I want to know what he thinks. Yeah? Well, there we go. Okay, we put the handle out. Let's go. Let's see. Right. Well, there was, uh, they, I guess they didn't make it.